Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Civilization Time. So we're back with my first Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth, and of course we're playing as Polystralia. So in this episode, we, we finally established our colony, sort of, but it's just barely getting started. We've got to protect this until it gets turned into a city, and then we've really got to try and get it a good start. Start getting trade convoys set up internally, and I've also got to try and get trade set up to my nearby neighbors here, which is probably going to require me clearing a lot of my asthma. Because a trade trade convoy can't get through solid miasma. But yeah, I have double tr uh, two extra trade routes available for my capital. I, before I can really get serious with trade, I need to build this stupid ultrasonic fence, though. And even then, it's not going to kick in right away, because it's not the, f the stupid building itself, which just repels aliens from around your city. But it's really the quest decision like this for the fence is what I need in order to have my trade be safe from aliens. This one, however, is from our recycling. And we can choose, the recycling building already makes production, right? But we can choose to either get plus 10% speed for our workers around our cities. You know, wouldn't be horrible, but, or we can get plus one food from recyclers. The thing is, I have so much food, that's a lot, but 10% worker speed, most of the things they do are taking, you know, nine, like 9 or 10 turns. Maybe that's knocking one off. Maybe it's not, though. It depends on the rounding. I'm going to go with the food, because that's a, that's a resource that I'm going to get for each one of these buildings I make. Uh, I do have my internal trade convoy accelerating this city's, uh, well, this outpost's growth into a city. But I really, I need to explore to Central. I'm going to need my asthma clearing satellites and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, my asthma clearing satellites. That is a thing. So this worker here, he finished doing something I don't care that much about. I don't need to build all these energy things. I really need production. Unfortunately, I don't have, like, my, my income is fine, but I'm going to need that money for starting a new city, for building trade routes. I don't really have the income that I want to redirect these idiots to get the right tiles. Get my damn tubers and uh, and get this forest because it's got production. I need to, the city is low in production. Oh, this tile over here has one production. So I guess we'll go work that, although we're probably just putting a farm on it. We're not putting their stupid solar collector. My city may not really need more food. I mean, it's already growing insanely fast. It's six net food. But that, that growing is fine. It's good. That's, that's six net food despite working this tile with no production. And I still want that food coming in. So we've got these marines here. I'd love to... I, the thing is, I don't want to get in a big fight with the aliens. I do need to get down to this derelict settlement and this progenitor ruin with explorers, which I don't really have. I've got one explorer dicking around up here. He's not very helpful. Uh, I don't know. Probably sending this guy back to my main city, but I don't know if he's really needed up there. He doesn't explore anywhere near as well as explorers, though. It would take him a long time. I'm going to see if I can move him further that way, but he's going to get blocked by aliens like the others did, I'm sure. Fortify until healed. That's occupied. That is a nest. I can't really go near the nest or I'll draw aggro. I don't have the embarking technology, so I can't go around their coast like that. These, these bugs are just not helping. At least the computer's going to have a hard time expanding to the north of me, though, because of all these dumbass stations blocking off. Not necessarily the best spots there, unlike these idiots, New Babylon, and taking, really interfering with a good spot there. But, yeah, they're still going to really reduce the amount of choice that anyone has in where they can set up a city over here. I guess this spot is still available. It has some good resources. Okay. 
worker over there. Oh yeah, this is hills. That was a canyon. Awesome. So, trying to avoid the bugs. It's going to be impossible though. You know, there's the siege worm down there. Ah, oh, that's nice. It's protecting the place that needs to be explored. If I could just get through here. If I could get sort of sights to this area, then later I could clear the miasma. I could also use the miasma clearing satellite to get some of it explored. Because satellites do show you what's underneath. But... So we're not building that, we're building a farm. Just so that whoever works this tile for the production, is it's at least self-sustaining. Okay. There. Oh, across the river, that's what my turn ended. Discovered a nest down there, so that's another no go zone. And there's a mountain right in the way here. Holy siege worms. Now, with the, with the military virtues, it would actually, there you can get ones where you start getting research based on the strength of the aliens you take down. So what is, how much is that? You get 100% of an alien life form's strength as science after killing it, and 60 science for destroying a nest. So, if there are two, each siege worm is worth 100 science if you're doing that. Which is kind of crazy, but then again, they are not easy to handle early on. I don't want to end within two squares of that nest. Those bugs are nicely screening me. You dinks. I could start killing bugs, but I don't have the forces for it right now. Move down there, and then... Yeah, if I go there, I'll be within two of the nests, I'll get attacked, so I gotta go back. There are gold in them, there are hills. Oh, oh, I got a little bit more explored, and there is... Oh, that's an outpost. Oh, the, the Franco-Iberians are building a city right there. Eh, I wasn't gonna go that way anyway, that's not really interfering with me, so... I guess it's just another trading partner as my explorer gets boxed in. Wow, he couldn't see any of those guys move right next to them. And there's a nest there. Oh, who's he's gonna get attacked now. Ah, uh, this is a pain in the rear, this whole thing. Without killing aliens, it's gonna be pretty tricky. If I could get through here, if the bugs leave that alone, that would be really nice. Let's see how... Diplomacy. Anyone else? So I have one point of purity. We got one supremacy from uh, Rinaldo down there, and so you know, still not a lot of affinities yet. That's not unusual. I mean, you, they're great for military. Even your first point will like will upgrade your soldiers significantly. But ow, the miasma damage it begins to add up. Holy, they are turbo expanding actually, because they got another city right there, and they are just building a colony here. They're they're really packing in the cities. Doesn't look like he got attacked too much. If he goes closer to the nest, he will be though. If he was a scout, he could probably move and take over the nest. Frankly, I'd get a little bit of bonus energy, but uh, I'm in it now. I want to find that city. He's he's gonna get crushed though, like. The wolf beetles aren't that bad, but three of them and the artillery bug. Wow, I didn't expect him to get flat out killed. That is not good, but it's not the end of the world either, I guess. That was my free warrior. I really don't need the warriors that much immediately. Still, that's, that's a cost. That's one more thing gone that I have to worry about. Do I get unhappiness for that? doesn't say anything about it. So, can we get a little production focus here? 
Even on production focus, they refuse to work this style. Right, look, I know the food is great and stuff, but... Three food and one energy is less important to me than the, the production. The production is in scarce supply. Oh, wait. Activate. Oh, so that's it. They finished their fence of stupidity. Okay. Hopefully I get the quest for it soon. Should probably start building trade convoys. Well, I might actually need the health soon. My city pops. Yeah, whatever. Make a, make a trade convoy. We do have routes available, if I recall. Yeah, we... We can actually reach some of these cities now, as long as I get that quest so that the aliens don't just kill my convoys. So many stations. So dumb. Okay, so actually the, the outpost is pretty near to being ready. It's going to need the, uh, the worker much more than anyone else. In hindsight, I really probably should have just kept that soldier over here to protect this stuff, but... This guy's taking so much damage from spending t turns on miasma. Might have to just sit here and heal. I always forget that the river crossings cost movements. Like, this is the year 2500 or 2300 or something. I don't know when it is, but god damn it, you'd think we could cross rivers without so much difficulty. Okay, so. This is this is not a, this is not that new trade care convoy I was building. This is because the uh, it was just being used to accelerate the outpost. Now the outpost is ready, so we're going to send it back to the outpost as an internal trade route, and we're going to get we're going to give them four food and six production, as well as gaining one food and three production in our main city. So that's the most important thing to me. Is again just convoys really boost your early your your new cities. But we're also going to make some stuff here. We're going to want to make the trade depot if possible. There are a lot of different trading partners. And trade should help the city grow as well, I would hope. Do I just, am I just going to buy that, though? I can... I have two... On my, yeah, I'll, next turn I'll be able to buy something. Although next turn I'm going to have to buy something for health, because my health is down. Minus 10% science and culture, that's no good. Okay, so I'll use that to buy a clinic. So I will, in fact, start building the Trade Depot. Recycle is really good, too, but Trade Depot will allow trade. I'm going to need it eventually. Okay. Deorbit imminent. Yeah, so that free solar satellite I got is going to come down in about five turns. It's not a big deal. That will reduce the amount of money I'm getting all the time, but it's not the end of the world. I can't start improving this fungus yet because it's not in my territory, unfortunately. But yeah, let's get down here and purchase a clinic, which will give us a tiny bit of science, and it'll upgrade our health back to... I really sometimes don't understand... I don't think it's clear when you make a building whether it's giving you health across your whole empire or just, like, health in that specific city. Because I was at minus one health, I gained two health, now I'm at zero health. It's because the clinic's providing local health. So this city, like, the population of the city is not is only generating one unhappiness. So it just negates that. But whereas... I'm getting this, if you look at 14 negative health, there's 8 generated from number of cities, based on the difficulty. And that's not being negated by the clinic, I guess? I don't know. Whatever. If you're going to rejigger an organism's genotype, you should give it the courtesy of reading its manual first. Herbie. Okay, so that's going to give me my first level of purity. Or no, that's my second level of purity, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm going to get the... No, that's the, that's the first. 
Why, why was I thinking I had one already? I don't know. In other way, I, it gives me that wonder that I can build. I have a lot of other things How to build, How much though. joy can this new planet hold when all I can think of is everything I've left behind? Yeah, so these... That is my first level. Weird. So these purity people, they really... Their, their philosophy is they refuse to mess with, to tinker with the human body in any way. They... They just won't. They want to take this planet and just turn it into a photocopy of Earth as much as possible. That is their objective. And you know, making making things more Earth-like to make it more comfortable, I can sort of understand. But these are these are the people that they would consider it messing with the human body to say have a direct neural interface with the computer. That's just stupid. If you have the op if you if you have the technology and you're like, well, we could input our thoughts directly into the computer, or we could use some other form of interface, like verbal or whatever. No, just build in the computer, you idiots. But anyway, so because I've got one in a uh, in any affinity, I can now upgrade my soldiers to marines. They get plus four strength, so they go from ten to fourteen, and you get to choose one of these two perks. You can either have them heal five, five hit points per turn when not embarked, or plus fifteen percent when attacking. And I'm gonna take the attack one. Just for long term purposes. Right now actually the healing would probably seem more useful if I'm moving them around and stuff, but yeah, we'll take that. So I get this worker, he can start That is not the best tile. I mean building a farm here would be nice but the city's going to use this tile before that one anyway because it's got more energy for whatever reason. I'm just going to go and start working this stuff because I'll get at plus one research when I build a paddock on here, and that's awesome. Speaking of research, yeah, it pops out the leaves. So, yeah, we got our genetic mapping. What do we need? So like the idea of getting computing, it's more technology, there's a quest to do it. Could technically get spies going if I wanted to. Although I don't really have the production lying around for that. Physics would give me a ranged unit, which would be good if I'm planning to do any act. If I want to actually start clearing out these aliens, definitely need the uh, ranged combat. I do have the Xenomass near my main city, so being able to upgrade those might help. And I don't have the harmony to use these buildings, though, so that wouldn't be especially awesome. I'm going to want terraforming to upgrade, upgrade the floatstone as soon as I can, but this is an expensive tech. I could get some other cheap techs in the meantime. Let's let you build terrascapes, which is like a crazy terrain improvement, but it takes like about 20 turns for your worker to make this thing, and then it costs 6 gold per turn, like 6 energy per turn. Uh, up here. The, the auto plant is another production building. I would like to have another production building. I'll get that up here from robotics. It would give me the ability to upgrade fire axite, which isn't useful right now, but it could be later. Go down here. Power systems not helping me too much. Defense grid, nope, don't care about that. Don't have the oil, so I don't need this. Genetic design. That's a super growth wonder. I don't think I'm gonna be able to manage that. The cloning plant from Xenomass could be useful, although I still have to have this tech to to actually upgrade my Xenomass terrain before I could build the cloning plant. If I had level 2 purity, I'd have an extra happiness in the science building, too. What what do I really want to go after, I guess is the question. Vertical farming. If I wanted to grow my civilization, vertical farming is crazy, because this is just a passive that gives plus 1 energy and food from all the farms. And there's a fungus-based food building up there, and, although it requires a lot of harmony. Man. I'm sorry here, I'm stalling out. I mean, I'm going to need a lot of these things eventually. Looks like whatever I'm going to grab is something that's going to take 16 or 24. 
I get a culture building there, not a big deal. It does give plus one culture from paddocks. I actually don't have that many paddocks going around, though. Anything gives a bonus from plantations? Plus one science from Xenomass as well. So that's, that's a lot of research to get that. I just don't care about the buildings from physics. That's the thing. I could grab physics, but it's like, we... It does not excite me. There are so many things that I want to get. They're just all a little bit farther away. So let's... Communications has... Command Center, TACnet Hub. Orbital networks would be nice to get the satellites for tech, but can't afford most of these things. Master Control, giving plus one movement to workers, is a pretty darn good wonder. But I don't... I think the computer goes for that a little bit harder than I do. I guess maybe I should just research geophysics to find the geothermals, but I mean, if I don't have any geothermals, I'm going to be ticked off because it's a waste of time. Oh, indecision. You know what? Let's just go figure out how to work our xenomass wells, since that's the thing that is obviously going to be useful in some fashion. Just occurred to me that I didn't set my timer for this episode. Swift. So, keep going as long as I feel like it's right. Eventually I'll have to get in the habit of it and I'll try and keep the episodes around a half hour. Okay, so this city's grown already, which is unsurprising because it has that extra convoy delivering food. You can get the trade depot in four turns. And then, let me work on the recycler. You know, we're up to plus one happiness now, so maybe it takes time for the happiness from those things you buy to kick in. Strange. All right, you build a paddock here. So this is the new trade route I built. It can go to Liqueur for just energy, that's lame. Or it can go to Sarek. Where the heck is Sarek? Oh, some idiots are encroaching and built a city down here. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I was hoping to have more of this area to myself. But I'm going to trade with them anyway because it's going to give me plus 5 research and 7 energy per turn. Which is pretty damn nice. Why are you expanding into my territory, you stupid Slavs? Uh, I can tell them not to settle near us. I, I don't know how useful that is, though. It'll just tick them off, mostly. I don't want a cooperation agreement, though. Maybe I'll tell them not to settle near us. You know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait until he says nice things about me for setting up trade with them, because they love when you trade with them. And then I'll tell him, yeah, by the way, don't settle near us. <laughs> I'm sure that'll show him. So, yeah, repair facility gives you a bonus for producing land units, but it doesn't do much else. I think we're going to make another trade convoy, because they're pretty cheap. And I can set that to work on... Uh, Get my get me some more production or there, there's a lot of stuff I can get from the different stupid trade stations. We're just not going to trade with New Babylon because I'm going to kill them at some point. All right. I'm delighted by the robust exchange of goods and wealth between our colonies. Let us protect and expand this uh, lucrative arrangement. I agree, except. Get the hell out of my territory, you dink. But with that addendum, I totally agree. Okay, so didn't get the quest decision I wanted, which is for the fence, but our laboratory has popped out one. So I could take this choice, and my explorers would just always have get one extra expedition module. I don't care about that at all. I mean, if I get one point of supremacy, they'll all get that anyway. This would add even more. There's another, there's a, an, there's a virtue somewhere that gives them plus three. 
how many how many expeditions is one explorer going to run into without having to go home? Like, it just seems dubious. Or I can just have my labs do plus one research, which is their whole purpose in life, so obviously I'm going to take that one. We do like the research. So the trade, the trade convoy has drastically accelerated my attacking. Instead of 26 turns, it was taking 16, now it's 15. But, uh... I'm making lots of money still, which is good. It's going to go down significantly when the satellite finally falls out of the sky. Oh, that's right. I need to make anti-miasma satellites. That's what we're going to do after this convoy. There's a lot of, like, miasma around here that I would like to clear. Yeah, maybe that's not... Well, no, I need to clear it down here. Yes, but this is the important part. I kind of like the idea of clearing it through here so that I could get trade to this city, but I've got enough, I've got more trading partners now with this guy down here, as annoying as that is. I really need to clear the miasma in this area so that I can uh, start exploiting the mega floatstone when I get the tech for it. Okay, what do we got? Those, oh, it's just next turn again right away. I have literally nothing happening. Uh, this guy is healed up enough. I'm going to start moving him out before Prosperite there traps him. Uh, this is still more than two squares from the nest, so I shouldn't get attacked. If I could explore down to central, I might, like, so that I have vision through here, I might be able to trade with them. Although, again, your trade convoys aren't supposed to be able to go through miasma, so it might be tricky. I thought there was going to be more land mass over here, but apparently they both landed on the coast. So that is going to force them more into conflict with me. I, they can't expand in that direction as well. Okay, so there's that other trade convoy I wanted. If, if this was one of the existing ones, it would tell me what the previous destination was. But it doesn't. So I could get one science and three energy from going to Lacar. That's really lame. I don't know why they're so bad. It's probably because they spent all their effort making like new settlers. But I could get three production from Fort Barca here, which in the short term I guess that's pretty good. That's more what my city needs. So we'll do that. But I mean I can all those trade routes go for a certain length of time, and then I'll be able to redirect it to something better, hopefully. But yeah, we'll build that, that miasma clear, repulsor to clear out the stuff here, and we're going to be able to buy something soon. We might want to buy another worker. It's interesting. It's prioritizing the three float stone here over the 10 float stone, probably because the 10 float stone has miasma, which is a little bit of a pain, but I I really don't think that should affect the choice of which tile to go after. And of course, these idiots up here still don't value the tubers. The forest of tubers, it could get even more food. It's taking tiles that aren't giving me production anyway, why is it prioritizing them? Ugh. I don't know. Aliens near the city. Duh. So I could actually shoot them from the city, but that would start a whole bunch of combat. Do I want combat with them? I'm guessing no. Manticor has 10 range strength, only 4 melee strength. The wolf beetles have eight strength, which is pretty close to your your warrior your soldiers initially. But now that I've got the one upgrade, my soldiers have fourteen strength, and they have plus fifteen percent when attacking. So maybe I could start trying to clear this area, despite my not having all that many military units. You can't shoot the wolf beetles though. I don't know. Oh, that's a canyon there. I can't actually go through here. Uh, how am I going to get these guys back to my territory? I also don't want to start shooting at the aliens if I'm going to start an expedition. But then again, if I start an expedition here, 
It's in the miasma, so my guys would be, take damage every turn, and it's near a nest, so I'd probably have to clear that out anyway. I might have to start fighting with the aliens. If I'm going to do that, first off, I'd need more military units, and secondly, I'd need to get myself... It'd be nice to get myself a uh, one point of harmony so that they lose aggression faster. Uh, there's a harmony here, but it, the thing you get from it requires four harmony to use. So, I mean, that would do what I'm talking about, but it wouldn't. This tech wouldn't actually help me any. Alien biology is pretty cheap. It lets you your workers clear miasma without having to use the satellites. It makes your workers immune to miasma. It is just like a cheap point in an affinity, though. What do you get from Swarm Robotics? It's just a wonder that gives plus two science and makes your units heal faster in friendly territory. Swarm Intelligence. Ooh, that's a really good wonder, but it's pretty expensive. I'm not even building the wonder that I have access to. Oh, there are too many things I need to do. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, I haven't told him to not expand near me yet. Because now he's he's gonna grab these these two float zone are just out of range of his city. He's kind of stupidly positioned city for that. Although I'm sure he's getting something good there. I think his city is not quite in the right place as the computers want to do. The computer just says good enough and drops a city. Doesn't go for perfection. But I was wondering if I should want to put a city closer down here to get some of this stuff, even though it'll be encroaching a little bit on my other cities. Fungus there, copper, zone, chitin chitin. And of course tubers, we like tubers. And the, the river does mean there's a lot more energy going around. I don't really want to put a city there. I'd rather have cities in great places, but it'd be more it'd be easily defensible. It would block off this range more. I can't do everything at once though. And I gotta kill these guys if I want to make the the perfect awesome city on the coast. And it would, it, having a coastal city would be good for the future long term. Oh man. Combat rovers are faster, but they actually have less strength than the marines because I don't because I haven't reached the point in an affinity where I would get to upgrade them. That's around three points in in your highest affinity. I'm gonna need a worker down at the other city, and I'm gonna need one here to work the xenomass when I do that, and a marine. You just cannot do all the things that I need to do. Plus, I want to build that gene vault and have faster growth in all cities, even though it'll go crazy. Well, that's one thing. The I gotta check the affinities again. The gene vault was unlocked by tech with one purity. So anyone who doesn't have one purity can't compete for that wonder. So let me check out the diplomacy again. So it, this isn't me. I was them some other game. So it's actually they have that they might actually be going for the gene vault, which would be horrible. Uh, maybe I should be working on that right away. And I probably won't get it because my city won't have enough production and then I'll be even more mad. I'm going to have to buy something, but I should probably be buying something that gives me happiness, because these other things are not. It's possible that I'm not the best at this game, just so, just so you know. I'm competent, but there's... I have not played enough times to make... Like, there are so many decisions. It is really hard sometimes to tell what is the best way to do things. The, the mana cores are still within range of the city, but the thing is, I, my marines can just kill them in one attack. What I'd like is for the wolf beetles to come within range of the city so I could shoot them, and then I'd be more likely to start some stuff with the aliens. 
Oh, we're, we're going to move them here. I mean, the aliens are unlikely to go on offense and take out my, my unprotected worker if it's right near my city. That doesn't mean they won't. It just means it's less likely. They can be a little unpredictable. Just gonna build a farm here. And you guys, you have an expedition module, but because it's close to the nest, you're gonna get killed if you try and do that. I gotta get them back to the city, heal them up, maybe. Fortify. I don't really want to do this. Oh, the Gene Vault has already been built by them. Now, see, I got confused when I saw their... That was dumb when I looked at the diplomacy and I thought that they were me. They were also at the top, which would make some kind of sense to put yourself at the top, but no... Oh, so all that gene vaulting has gone to waste. At least I didn't spend many turns on it, but it's still super annoying. I am going to need the health. Should maybe build our first pharma lab. Because we're in negative health again already. the city and heal up. Discovered another stupid station. Great. Where where did they go? It says we discovered them, but I don't see where they are. Oh, whatever. I'm sure I'll find out in some kind of horribly disappointing way. Okay, so we've got a miasma clearing set. Quest decision. The trade depot in place. I was on top of the world. So uh, we can make a choice. Our trade depots can either give us plus one energy or plus one production. I would much rather have plus one production. And I'm going to get my other trade... Oh, that's the recycler. They already done the trade route. Right. So I'm going to try and clear the miasma down here so I can access all this floatstone. Let's uh, launch the satellite and look at our orbital radius here. So that's not miasma, not miasma, not miasma. So the actual tiles around the city don't have miasma, but a lot of this stuff does. There's also a lot of stuff up towards my other city where, I don't know. As far as I can tell, it's not like Alpha Centauri where Miasma is going to spawn units. In Alpha Centauri, wherever the fungus was, there was a chance that any aliens would spawn out of it. I don't think it works that way here. Although maybe it does if you don't have vision over it, I don't know. But you can clear there, or we're going to clear here. I think. That's my asthma too. It's really the main thing that I want to clear is this floatstone here. I can't even get to that copper, so that stuff doesn't actually matter. So you know what? I should actually plop it more like this. I could clear some of this other miasma that my city could theoretically be working later. Yeah. We'll put it here. We'll make sure it's not overlapping a city. So if I do get some kind of resource improving satellites, I can put it there. But yeah, I guess we'll just clear this area. So that satellite drops down. This is kind of a temper, a shorter duration satellite. It'll just clear miasma, starting with the square underneath it, which actually doesn't have any. Then it'll go around until this entire radius has no miasma, and then it'll drop down out of the sky. Not a big deal. Let's change back out of the orbital layer. Got more population in Jabumba already. 
I'm going to have the Recycler in one turn, and then... So we can actually build a worker there, it would make sense. But we also need all this other stuff. The Old Earth Relic would help us claim territory around it faster, and would help us get Virtues faster too. We really need the health as much as possible, though. So I'm thinking we'll go for the Cyto Nursery. It gives a little bit of health, and of course it's going to give us more science. With the Pharma Lab in the capital, that should hold us a little while. I have enough money to buy something, actually. I could buy... maybe buy the health and build a worker? So yeah, actually, I could buy the Pharma Lab. That would get us out of negative health right now. Cyto Nursery wouldn't quite do it. Uh, let... Oh, I could buy the Recycler. That would help our production and give us more food. It wouldn't actually get us out of ha unhappiness. But the unhappiness isn't killing us. It's just, it's, it is slowing our research and our culture. But it's not actually, like, crushing us. And the Recycler's production will help us to get out of this stuff. I mean, I should probably just bought a worker for, and make almost as much difference. But the worker's not likely to give me as much production around here. I don't know. Okay, our explorer is set. I'd love to explore this derelict settlement or that place. They're both covered by nests, though. Which would mean we'd have to start fighting. I'm going to send him up. I want to check out this new Babylon place, make sure it's still there, because it's not showing up for me like these other colonies, which I clearly don't have sight on. If they're gone, then first off, they would leave a derelict settlement that I could explore, and secondly, I could build a colony there. Virtue! So, we already have the bonus to building... to any building I already have in the capital, I can make faster anywhere else. So that's pretty good. If I was going to start a whole bunch of military stuff, I could almost go down the military virtues. I don't know if that's really going to work out, though. I could get plus 50% XP from combat, then plus 25% strength against aliens. Then you go down here and get the scavenging, so I get research from it. Maybe I do want to go into that, because then uh, for five virtues in here, five is a lot of virtues, but I would get plus 5% strength on all units from the, uh, the might synergy. That research, bonus against aliens, science from aliens, and then I would get plus 20% affinity from every time I research a tech with an affinity level, I'd be getting another fifth of an affinity level. And then this just gives me a free affinity level. That is a lot of, like, improvements there. I'm going to have to be fighting the aliens a lot. How much do I want that? Because I could also just keep going down these and make my virtues cheaper. How many virtues am I get, going to get before I'm ready to start fighting the aliens? Or the other people, for that matter. I think for now, I will get 10% bonus culture if I get two more knowledge ones. So I think I'm going to go for that. I'm going to get this one anyway for sure. 10% less culture for new virtues. And then either the reduced science penalty from number of cities or just plus one health for every six population in a city. That's rounded down, but... Still, that'll be at least plus one ha happiness per city, and more as they get bigger, and that would help. 36 turns to a virtue. That is still a lot of turns. Unless we get more culture going. Okay, so you built that farm. That is great. What the? No. For a second, it wasn't letting me zoom in. So this place is growing in five turns. I can't uh, work the floatstone yet. I could go and make this crazy like mine that'll also give me all that'll also give me energy, which might be good as long as I keep working on the food on all these other tiles. Um, I'm having happiness problems, so maybe I will do that first before I go for more growth. 
Meanwhile, you are heading over this way. We're just going to I'll end this since I don't have my timer running. I'll just end this episode when I figure out if New Babylon is still there or not. So yeah, I could get one more food out of this tile, which is fine, but I could get two more production out of it with that. Be three production, two energy. That would be a pretty good tile for everything but growth. Oh, when you when you start moving around soldiers, and there's a lot of like rough terrain around my area. When you meet a new neighbor, you greet her with heartfelt courtesy. So also will we get to know our new alien neighbors. Sure, it's funny that I'm researching this as I'm plan like that's that's the quote I get as I'm planning a war against aliens, basically. Sometime in the, in the not too far future, I want to take this whole area, basically, yeah, this whole area here, and wipe out all the aliens, and convert them into research, possibly. Although that could be a pretty long-term goal if it's actually going to take that that long to get the. Uh, well, actually, it's it's not taking 30 turns anyway; it's like 24 turns as long as my happiness is positive, so that helps. There's still a lot of virtues before I could get the research from killing aliens, though since I didn't go that way initially. Okay, research is going much faster now. Much, much faster. So, I have the Xenomass Wells. Get the genetic design, which would let me get, like, add plus one production to Xenomass tiles and get a bunch of bonus food from this. Plus, when I get up to level two purity, I would get access to this gene garden, which is another health and science building and I could just go down there and get that purity while also getting plus one science from Xenomass Wells. So since I have a couple around my main city that might not be bad but you know what I still I need to be able to work the float stone. This is 26 turns though I can get a lot of stuff in 26 turns so I can get planetary survey in two turns it just doesn't do anything for me right now but if I, if it turns out that that coastal city site is available I will grab this in a second. Power systems, plus one production from quarries. Those things I'm building for extra production are not quarries, though. They're mines. Quarries are specifically for special, like, I guess, gold. I don't even know if it's gold. For basalt and some other things. Plus one energy from geothermal wells, which I don't have. I'd have to research this and then get lucky and find geothermals. Hmm. There are always so many choices. I could get computing, though. It would give me another research tech, and I would be moving towards communications, which doesn't help too much without supremacy for the feed site hubs. But the uh, the wonder you get from uh, orbital networks is amazing, if I wanted to push for that. Um, so true. Oh, it's always so hard to decide. Robotics does just give me the auto plant, which is more production, which I like. And it actually gives you bonus energy from international city and stations and lets you get an additional trade route. So, you know what? I'm, I'm going to get the robotics. It's good. It is good to have. It is very easy to get distracted and go in every direction in this tech in this tech web though because there is so much awesome stuff. We need another worker. We need the worker right now to start working the Xenomass. Then we might want to add I'm only getting a lot of money, but more money would be good from the react from the thorium reactor. On the other hand, I'm I need, health is something I need always, so we're gonna get the Cyto nursery as well. And then maybe I should build a marine. Who knows? We got the explorer here. Explore that way. Yeah, as I was saying at some point, it's really nice being able to when you realize how good it is that the explorer ignores rivers, ignores hills, and all the other things that slow you down when you try and move a marine anywhere. You're like, oh, this marine is so slow. There he is. 
So the Slavs are using a combat rover to explore over here. Hope they're not planning on putting a city near there. That's right, I forgot to tell them. Don't settle cities near us. Very well, I agree to avoid settling in the vicinity of your colony for the time being. Awesome. He agreed to it. Now, would he have agreed to it if I did that before the trade route? I have no idea whatsoever, but I'm inclined to suspect no. <laughs> now he's asking me to stop removing my asthma near his lands. Okay, this is what I don't understand. Maybe I should find out the hard way here. Is it going to count as a broken promise if I say this? Because I have my satellite's going to keep going until global relations. There are not a lot of global relations. Yeah, that, that doesn't help you much right now. That's uh, one of the mods I have, Info Addict. I don't really use it that much, so I don't know what I'm doing with it. But here, so we, yeah, we have a mutually beneficial trade route, but I demanded they not settle near me. So that annoyed them. This is this is nowhere near their capital. I don't think it's unreasonable to say, please stop settling in this area. They have lots of place to go. If I told the Franco-Iberians not to settle near my territory, that would be a dick move. See, I don't know, though. If I say we meant no offense and we're happy to stop removing my asthma near your territory, is it going to break immediately because I still have the satellite up and doing that? Is it going to stop my satellite? I'm going to say this and piss them off even more, which is not good. But, like, I need that satellite working. It hasn't got the miasma on my float zone yet. Uh. I have to do something nice for them sooner or later, because I don't actually want to get into battles. Alright, what do we want to build here? We're still going to need the health, because we keep growing. Honestly, th in this city, the ultrasonic fence might actually do something, but I, need I wanted to get it as soon as possible, because... You don't even you don't know how long it's going to take to get that quest. I haven't gotten the uh, the quest choice yet, so there is some chance that like I'm I'm in pretty safe areas with my convoys, but if I send a convoy to La Coeur, it would be dead. It would never make it there alive. I have to worry about that. Um, we should get the old Earth relic because I really do want that culture coming in. Explore here. No, see, nobody traded with New Babylon for so long, it ceased to exist. So I can actually build a colony over here. I think, even though I'm having happiness problems, that is a priority. Um, now, I'm going to have a new citizen in four turns, though. So I think what I'm going to do is build something else for four turns. Yeah, I'm not going to get any of these things done in four turns. But anyway, I don't want to start building the colonist if my city is about to grow so soon. Okay, so where can you go? You could go to one of the. You could go to Ainsa, this city that is right close to me. Which seems good, but I'm worried about alien activity there. I think that. It might get blown up. Oh, this is the one that was from Fort Barca. Okay, keep going to Fort Barca, since you didn't get killed there before, somehow. Like, there were more aliens down in this area. Maybe the French have been clearing them out, the French-Spanish people. Or maybe, yeah, there just didn't seem to be that many aliens up in that area. So maybe it's found itself a safe route by avoiding the miasma. Five production is good, though. We like that. And that means... Okay, the cyto nursery would only be four turns after the worker. So yeah, we could do that. Um, is is that gonna get? No, okay. I was it, I couldn't tell if there was some production spilling over there. But anyway, that's what I said I was gonna do. I've discovered whether or not the uh, the new Babylon idiots are still there. They are gone. It wasn't just because I couldn't see them or something. So I think we're going to have to expand there or to this spot right here as fast as we can so nobody else takes it. 
We'll just have to leave that till next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.